Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. So, a couple trailer reactions. First, um, so, you know, I was listening to um, uh, one of the uh, channels that I, I've subscribed to, pundits I listen to, uh, the Geek Buddies on uh, John Broca's uh, channel, and, you know, they were talking about new trailers and everything, and they mentioned this. Uh, which I, because I noticed it in the day earlier, uh, Jim Henson Idea Man, a documentary um, on Disney Plus about Jim Henson. And again, I'm a kid who grew up, I love the Muppets, you know, uh, later the Muppet Babies, um, Fraggle Rock, you know, so many, uh, it, you know, movies like The Dark Crystal. I mean, you know, there's so many things that Jim Henson has, uh, and his company did the puppetry for and everything um if, if i remember right you know for labyrinth and you know other things so but again yeah i'm someone who loved jim henson's work um and you know like i said there's a documentary about him so i'm all about seeing what we have here and here we go hello there my name is jim henson and i'm a puppeteer Sesame Street. The Muppets. Dark Crystal. Labyrinth. Jim created out of innocence. He showed people the good in all of us. Is this a nine to five job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's every every moment of one's life kind of job, I suppose. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? From a very early age, he had the feeling that he was here for a purpose. Holy. Characters come about from many different ways. It was my mother's coat and a ping pong ball. That's how it all started. He had so many ideas and so many things he wanted to do. His inner life must have been sparkling. The space he gave to an expression of imagination, I see that in everything that he did. I love you. I love you, too. I think. Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. There was nothing that Jim didn't entertain. And everything was getting a little bit bigger. Becoming famous was what he wanted, that there was an innocence getting lost. Was gonna impact his relationship with us and everything that was complex. He wanted to do more than is humanly possible. That, that idea that time could run out was just unthinkable. If Jim was here, I just have to thank him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm kind of tearing up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, again, such a big part of my childhood as I know it's been uh, so many and, 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 you know, as I allude to there, you know, um, and, and when I was listening to uh, the Geek Buddies earlier, they also said, you know, Jim Henson, I think he died in in his 50s, I think they said like 53 or something. I, I mean, I, I vaguely remember when he died. Um, and, you know, again, like I said, something that's brought so much joy to so many people. <laughs> you know, again, the, the Muppets, Sesame Street, um, you know, again, movies like Dark Crystal and Labyrinth. Um, just, again, just all the work that he's done all the things that came from this man uh, you know it's it's just just amazing to really think about you know i'm kind of reminded of when i uh 
you know, when the first trailer for, um, you know, Won't You Be My Neighbor, the Mr. Rogers documentary uh, came out, which I just finally watched, uh, when was it this year or the end of last year? I can't remember, but, you know, the not too distant past. Um, and again, like, you know, which was a great documentary. It just took me forever to get around to watching it. But I, I'm, I've been, I'm pretty sure that when, you know, I had saw the trailer for it, similarly, because again, big part, you know, childhood, grew up watching Mr. Rogers and everything. Someone, you know, uh, who, again, meant so much to so many as far as, ch you know, children, especially, obviously, in education was one of those things. But, you know, Jim Henson, obviously, through all these things that he's, he created and had a hand and created, you know, in his studio and everything. It's, it's just mind boggling to think, uh, you know, again, all those words that flash by, I can't even remember what they were, but they all truly apply to that man and all that he, all that he did, you know? And, um, you know, I keep thinking, um, a number of times again, but, you know, like, of course, Sesame street is still going, you know, I think it's like actually like on HBO max now, instead of, you know, PBS, because I believe that was cut out years ago, um, or changed or something, um, you know, and of course, again, the Muppets, you know, there have been many iterations of the Muppet from the old movies, like the Muppet movie, the great Muppet caper, Muppet Christmas Carol, so on and so on and so on, and you have things, even side things like the bunny picnic, um, and, and, and whatnot, of course, the specials and everything. And, um, but again, you know, one, again, one of the ones, again, series I remember loving watching, of course, was Fraggle Rock. And as we've had new version of the Muppets in general, and, um, you know, of course, as I said, Sesame Street continues in its iterations, you know, I've been like, I just, I remember, even like last week, randomly, I was just thinking like, I wonder if we'll ever get more Fraggle Rock, <laughs> you know, or a new version of it, you know, again, just to continue the 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 Hen henson dynasty if you will um uh, i mean again would would kids today even get it i don't know but i think they would because again there's just something again yeah i mean are the muppets as popular as they were when i was young um probably not you know again sesame street has its own demographic which are you know of course normally young young younger kids and again i i'm not I, I don't even know for sure if it's still on pbs if it's just on max or whatever now but um yeah anyways i'm rambling that that just looks awesome and you know i can't wait i mean it's a month from now so i can't wait to see that um i can't remember is it a did it say is it a one part or one part thing or is it uh, okay, just as yeah, original documentary. So I guess it's just like one movie documentary. Um, but yeah, I I can't wait to see it because you know nostalgia, the feels, obviously. Um, but again, just to see more insight into this man who I know brought so much joy into my life personally as well as so many. So. Anyway, that is my reaction uh, to the little trailer for Jim Henson, Idea Man. Um, my thoughts, and um, as always, um, feel free to share, subscribe, hope you give me a like if you like my content, hit the notification uh, button below, um, and feel free to leave a comment, I, and I, I would really, I mean, those of you who do leave me little comments uh, here and there, I really appreciate it, you know, I don't get a whole lot, which is fine, but, um, you know, something is especially like this um I'd, I'd really like to hear um for any of y'all especially i guess older <laughs> like me who had who obviously i'm sure grew up with many of his <laughs> children if you will his, his creations his children if you have fond memories of um jim henson and the things he created i'd love to hear that if you're someone who is not as familiar with Jim Henson and his world, the worlds he created, his uh, creations, if you will. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this trailer as well. Um, and, you know, just whatever. 
Uh, but uh, anyways, as always, thanks for watching.